Well, hey there, Bronco fans. It's Danny and Shad. Welcome to this week's edition of Dancing with the Stars. Shad, who's the stars this week? The stars, there's too many to count, really. Mm -hmm. It's like the Milky Way out there. I'm oh, talking yeah. Eric Decker and Vaughn Miller. Who? Doomerville, baby. What? Doomerville. And what's nice about this? Folks, this is for real, real. No, no longer the preseason. It's gone bye-bye. Uh, all of this stuff now counts. And what a better way to start the season. Some people would say, ooh, the Pittsburgh Steelers shed. What are we going to do? What, what are we, we going to do? do? What we do? welcome that stuff. You it's know, last brilliant. year, I, I, I couldn't sit here and honestly say that. I'd be like, oh, crap, the Pittsburgh Steelers. But uh, feeling a lot better about our situation this year. Uh, let's talk about the game. Let's talk about All right. So first, from the Steelers' perspective, you know, yeah. you got Harrison back. And you know he's back because he's doing a lot of that, blah, 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 blah. that all weekend. And, uh, you know, it looks like Mendenhall may play. Big Ben, you know, I guess. His arm's feeling a little better, you know. So, you know, bring it. We want the whole team. We're not going to see Ryan Clark cannot play in the altitude. A right, lot of people right. can't play in the altitude, but his medical yeah. uh, reasons. But uh, so that's actually good news because the guy who replaced him last time, if you remember that long Demarius Thomas touchdown, happened to be yeah, his replacement chasing after him. I still see that play. I know Steeler fans are mad. They want redemption. Bring it. Bring mm -hmm. it. And I'm tired of those pecker heads out there. And there's a lot of them. Yep, yep, they yep. keep talking about Peyton Manning and his neck. People, his neck got fused. It's stronger than anybody else's neck. It's his arm strength. So get that right. But we brought our own Peyton Manning terrible towel because mm -hmm. he's going to make the Steelers look terrible. Yeah. This is what a terrible towel Can you give a like. demonstration, Shad, of a Peyton Manning terrible towel, please? Okay. Yeah. Woo! Perfect. Is that pretty good? You know something, uh, the one thing, you know, and we've been a little hard on the NFL and Roger Goodell, and we've, we've talked about the scheduling woes of, you know, it seems like the Broncos every year, no matter where they finish, no matter where their record is, they always seem to get the short end of the stick as far as an easy record. You look at somebody like the New England Patriots, they've been on a winning streak for quite a long time, and they've got a soft, soft schedule. In a division that's Man, maybe not you know not as soft as the AFC West, but certainly not the softest division. The Broncos year in year out. Uh, obviously, we get a, a pretty tough schedule this year is no different. But I love the fact that we ended last year on the high note with Pittsburgh. Obviously, not with uh, not with New England, and then you come right back in the next year with a guy like Peyton Manning facing those same Pittsburgh Steelers. It is, a, I and I know it. we're Bronco fans, but I it is it. a big game. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest games of Week Absolutely. One is obviously, mm -hmm. I bet you the most watch, and it's going to be exciting. Well, of course, it's a Sunday night national game. Everybody wants to see Peyton Manning, uh, and it is, it, it, it's going to be. I think the, the electricity is is going to be indescribable. Hair on the arms, standing up, back already, of the neck, already yeah, pumped up. You get the shakes. And that's just because of football. Yeah, now let's talk a little bit about some things that are leading up to that that we're going to be part of. Now, yep. first of all, you might have read in the papers here locally, downtown 16th and Arapaho, they have a little pep rally. Vance Johnson, Mark Jackson, some of the amigos love, love are coming alumni. back into yep. town. So we got alumni, we got cheerleaders, we got Miles, and we've got current players, including our buddy Joe Mays, that sat in that very chair last year. So we'll be out there. And then we got Sunday, we got all kinds of stuff going oh, on. Oh my good gosh. Tailgates, give it away. See this fancy shirt? Yeah. And he's wearing, giving it away. Real quick, you asked, we delivered. Everybody was uh, griping uh, about the orange Bronco Planet shirts. Uh, we deliver. I mean, that's just what we do week in, week out here on Bronco Planet. We deliver the news. We deliver the fans. We deliver uh, the great blogging on our website. We deliver uh, all the uh, social media on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. That's why we're here. That's why we do this. And Sunday's going to be no different. We're going to be, uh, well, I, the section escapes me. Shad will fill you in on that. Section C, See, I can't near gate C. 10, right. and with us, the, the Bronco Chicklets. You say Chicklets? <laughs> well, it's not, a, it's not yeah, something I'm you chew on. <laughs> Or maybe you do. Well, we won't go into that now. Yeah. But uh, we've got uh, we got Brianne going to be out there. What? We got Charlene going to be out there, and we got Rachel out Stop. there. Stop. Some eye candy, yep. all for free. Passing out cards, <laughs> yeah. sharing the Bronco love, <laughs> all for free. That's what we want. Well, to we, say we, uh, yeah. well, you know. Yeah, uh, it'll be a great time. Uh, we're going to be out there. We're actually going to give away a little bit of these. You know, uh, uh, stock is limited, and of course, so is our pockets. So, <laughs> uh, but we are going to be giving. Uh, some of these away. We're going to have a lot of great prizes out there. We're going to be partying with Donna, one of the biggest, bestest uh, uh, Bronco fans. I love me some Donna. Yep. Yeah, awesome. We got out there. So it's all right here. Yep. Let's bring it. Bring everything you got. Every A player you got, Pittsburgh, we are ready. And I, I guarantee you, we're going to be here Sunday night. 
talking about a Bronco victory. What, what's your prediction? You know something? I'm going to go with dyslexia this evening, Chad, because it wouldn't be the first time. 31-13 <laughs> Denver. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Yep. And you don't even have a drink up here. Nope, nope. That's pure I said that right completely there, huh? and utterly sober. How scary is that? That's Which right. means I'm usually right. Well, I tell you what, if you're right, that would be a good thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe the first time in a couple of years, but it would be a good thing. True. Mm -hmm. And you? And may I say 28 to 21. I think it's going to be a little closer. You know something? I, I thought about that, and I, and I looked in preseason. I looked at the first string defense, and how many uh, uh, how many defensive touchdowns did they give up? Or offensive touchdowns? The starters, I yeah. think, zero, right? Bingo, Nothing bango, bingo, bango. Yeah, exactly, and that's one of the reasons why. And you know, touchdowns aside, yeah, they were there. They were there to put up a three. I think uh, that's going to be the the big game changer. A couple of field goals. Roethlisberger maybe gets lucky once with an Antonio Brown type pass. Maybe uh, uh, maybe Tracy Porter falls down or, or sees one of our Bronco Planet chicklets in the stands or, and gets that, a little distracted. Uh, but yeah, sure. I'll give him. A, you know, I'll give him a little bit. But I think the defense really rises up on this thing. It's first game of the year. Gen Generally, offenses take a little bit longer to gel than the defense. So, 31-13, you're giving a, you're giving Pittsburgh a little more credit than I would. Well, here's what Vegas is saying: a point and a half. Yeah. So we laugh at Las Vegas. Yeah. Come to the real source right yeah, here. Exactly. And thank God for that, because if you put our money on our predictions, you are pretty well, well, yeah, in, yeah. in the dog. And house, we're going to so. be giving these away, too. Why not, Danny? Let's give these away. Right. We're, giving, we're giving away everything. That's what we do here. We spread the love yep. right here at Bronco Planet. So uh, check us out, Gate C, near the uh, exit 10 right. right there, and look for the pom poms in the trees and then a couple of studs and three good looking women. And a very, you know yep. you your and a very nice lady wearing a, an orange Bronco cowboy hat and Donovan. Make sure you say hi to her. She's one of our favorites. Of course, uh, if you can't make it down to see us at the game, you can sure follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, we've got all our bases covered. We hope to see you down there. If not, please do check us out. It's real time right here at Bronco Planet. Oogie, boogie, boogie, boogie. Oh.